nothing matters. Literally, nothing matters. Man, this is why Gen Z is so hopeless. If you want a pure and unadulterated understanding of the mentality and philosophy of Gen Z, look no further than TikTok. A place where there's absolutely no filter and where young adults and teenagers are able to verbalize some of their deepest, darkest feelings and understandings of the world. Now for myself, I unfortunately have the misfortune of being on TikTok and I've seen a growing trend, a growing philosophy, if you want to put it that way, in people's videos. And believe me, this goes much deeper than TikTok dances and memes. Oh no, we're just on a floating rock flying through space So go travel to Italy with your boyfriend Cause it doesn't matter Floating rock for the win Okay, so nothing matters apparently We're just on this floating rock We can do whatever we want Let's, let's watch more Nothing matters Literally Nothing Matters I mean, besides of course what you want to matter To you But this entire society All of it Is completely made up there is no actual blueprint for success. Success is simply doing what you want to do with your life and giving a big old to anyone who judges you for it. Man, some majorly good advice today from the old TikTok. Who would have known? Just give a big F you to the world and do what you want to do because nothing matters, man. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. You ain't listening to me, dog. Just listen. Nothing matters. Don't listen to the haters. Just zone in. You do you, dog. I'm gonna show you exactly why there's no point to anything and living life is completely pointless. Now here's the harsh truth. Everything you're doing right now is completely meaningless. You're gonna go about your little day, you're gonna do your thing, well guess what, nobody cares, and then you're gonna die. You should understand this will free you of literally everything in life. Oh, your life's really stressful, oh, you have all this stuff going on, doesn't matter, you're gonna die. None of it, literally nothing matters, why do you even care? Bro, what? What are you talking about? Oh no, no, no. But it's not just TikTokers like this that are spousing this advice and this philosophical understanding of the world. A popular comedian, I've heard, I don't really find her that funny, but Sarah Silverman talked about this too on her podcast. But yeah, Saturday, uh, I woke up just right away, just thinking, what's the point? Nothing matters. And I, I knew I had a show that night. And I was like, why do I perform? What's the purpose? What is this? This is re there's no point. Nothing, ma nothing matters. And by the time I got in my car to go to the, the show, I was really feeling better. And I was like, ah, who gives a just have fun. Nothing matters. And I was like, oh, <laughs> isn't that interesting that I sunk into depression because I felt like nothing matters and it ended up being the same thing that snapped me out of it. Okay, so even though these TikTok kids might think they're coming up with something new, this new hot take and how to see the world, this philosophical understanding of the world is actually nothing new. It's called nihilism. Nothing matters. There's no transcendent objective entity that's bringing meaning to the universe. This worldview is void of God and it's no wonder that the guy who popularized it or founded it actually for Friedrich Nietzsche, and I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. He was the guy who created nihilism, basically, or is associated with it, at least. This idea that nothing matters, at least in an objective, transcendent sense. So remember, he's the guy who said God is dead, and he believes that we should accept this fact joyfully and move beyond nihilism into this idea of earthly accomplishment. Yeah, nothing matters, but you know, you're still here, so do stuff. He, in a lot of ways, had this idea that Christianity was actually holding people back into this slave morality. You know, if they were to just be free from that and and really embrace nihilism, that they just be free to accomplish and be successful and produce wealth and all this. I've been learning more about Nietzsche in A History of Western Philosophy and Theology by Dr. John Frame. This is a very helpful book, definitely recommend. You can see how this philosophy has directly impacted us today in a world where God is effectively dead. Ethical and moral foundations have been wiped away in favor of this subjective understanding of the world. Each person does what is right in their own eyes because at the end of the day, as Carl Sagan put it, we're all just star stuff. Now, as I think about some of those TikToks, and some of them were pretty funny, people have two different reactions to this nihilistic philosophy. Some use it as motivation to achieve their goal. They don't give an F what anybody else thinks because at the end of the day, nothing matters. So they're going to get what they want, what their heart truly desires. And conversely, when people stew in this idea of nihilism that nothing matters, man, it can drop people into a deep, dark depression. Because without transcendent meaning, our words are empty, our actions are fleeting, our thoughts are meaningless. 
meaningless and our suffering is purposeless. Man, that is a dark reality. But here's the deal, friends. Our lives do matter. Our choices do matter. Our words, our actions, our deeds, our thoughts, they all matter because we are created in the image of God to reflect him, to delight in him. But we denied this purpose and this meaning and this truth in order that we could go our own way. But while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That you would no longer be conformed to the ways of this world, these sinful ideologies and philosophies, but rather that you would be made into a new creation and be conformed to Christ, your creator. Only in him can we pursue truth, philosophy, logic, knowing that he is the foundation for all of it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm putting out new videos all the time and I'll see you next time. God bless.